And uh, within the past few hours, we've learned a lot more about the devastating scene in Metro Little Rock, Arkansas. That's the state capital. A massive tornado caught by cameras touching down there. The National Weather Service calling the storm catastrophic. And in an update about an hour ago, the Arkansas governor confirmed two deaths as a result of the storm, but she cautioned that number could rise overnight. It was just one of several confirmed tornadoes that touched down throughout the heartland today. A rare high risk alert was issued earlier today for parts of six states, including Kentucky. ABC's Melissa Adan has more on the storms and the damage they've already left behind. Roger that. Advise me if I'm going to hit anything. Be my eyes, please. Be my eyes. Dramatic video of a tornado on the ground near Harper, Iowa tonight. Part of a tornado outbreak stretching through several states. Another reported tornado in Arkansas. The damage centered in West Little Rock, where both commercial buildings and homes have been destroyed. Cars have been flipped over, leaving down trees and power lines. I, mean, I'm, I thank God that I'm okay. People got severely injured. Wow, you can see it right there. Oh my God. The city of Little Rock urging residents to remain in their homes so emergency personnel can get to work. We had no idea that it would be this much damage that we're seeing right now. A state of emergency declared in Arkansas due to the severe weather signed by Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Most of you know we activated Arkansas's National Guard and we have approximately 100 guardsmen that are on the ground. Meteorologists at the ABC affiliate on the air in Little Rock reacting to the damage as they provided live reports. We have friends and family who have been affected by this, that um, homes have been destroyed. And so if there's hesitation, we're trying to keep our composure too. While damaging hail and high winds also rip through parts of Illinois, while the current storm system moves east. Everything crosses the Mississippi over the next several hours. Chicago, you're going to get slammed with this in the early morning hours getting through Atlanta, and then it goes into the northeast. ABC meteorologists urging people to have a safety plan in place, knowing you're near a shelter and being equipped with supplies. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles.